All right, in this video, I'm gonna share with you what to do once you've set up your smart template. So this is part two. We've gone through the smart template, we set it up. Now we actually need to get it to function. We're gonna add the pop-up. We're gonna add in the list and make sure everything's working correctly. And so let's go. So the first thing is, here's my smart template that I just made. I'm not gonna worry how it looks right now. I'm just gonna worry about the functionality. So there's my call to action button. That just simply means that's gonna say something like, uh, click here or get access here or sign up now or whatever, whatever you want it to be. And we're gonna click on that button and there's a little chain link there, okay? And we're gonna add a pop-up, but it says, so this menu comes up, you see pop-up, you don't have a pop-up still, okay. So what I'm gonna do is make a pop-up. So we're gonna exit out of here for now. So we're gonna come back to this, so just exit. So up there at the top, we'll just close that window. And we're gonna go over to Cheetah. So I'm just exiting out of everything. It's just to show you so you don't get mixed up. There's this menu up here, okay? I'm in Cheetah Builder. So if you get lost, you just go back to your Cheetah Builder website, websites. Okay, and then um, where is it here? Where is it? Where are you? Earned money. Oh, God, I got so much stuff. Which one was it? This one. Yeah, it's this one. Okay, so it's this one. And now we're going to make a pop up. So I didn't have a pop up. This is my one page website. So we're going to go over to, we're going to go over to pop ups there. We're going to create a pop up. Okay, and for those that don't know what a pop-up is, it's just so you can collect the email. So let's create new pop-up, that blue button, and then check mark, yes, but make sure you put a name in here. So we'll do test pop-up. Okay, make sure you name it and then check mark. Okay, that's saved. Then we're, we're done that. Now we're gonna go back Okay, we're gonna go back to the test pop website. So now I'm gonna to go to my first landing page again. I'm gonna go back in there. We just created the pop-up. So go in there now. Okay, so now the website's up. So we're gonna go back to the call to action. Okay, we're gonna click that, set the link, hit that chain link, it says set link. Okay, now there's this menu and up at the top here it says test pop. That's what I named my pop-up. So I'm gonna select that, highlight it in blue, okay? And then scroll down here and select the green to save it. Okay, so that's saved. <clears throat> Next, we're gonna go over here to the upper right just to be sure I'm gonna save it again. Okay, okay that's fine, good. And then we don't, I'm just gonna close this. Okay, now I'm gonna go up to the top here. At the top, I'm gonna close the whole browser window. Just get out of it. Yes, I wanna leave, I already saved it. Now, it's very important, up at the top right here, listen up here, guys. Whenever you make changes, you need to hit republish. So I'm gonna republish, okay? It won't be saved until I republish. Okay, now, so we made the pop-up, but we still need to set up our pop-up. So we'll go over to the left menu here. We find the pop-ups, click that. Okay, there's the test pop-up. We're gonna hit the pencil. Okay, so we're in the test pop-up page, but it's blank, so we need to add like a, some sort of blank slate. So it's called an element. So we go over here to the right, it's a blue menu. And we add, we're gonna add a panel first. We need a panel. So we add a panel. I'm just gonna make a very simple one. You don't need it complicated for the, for the pop-up. You want it simple as possible. So hit blank panel, boom. All right, this will be like um, whatever text you wanna be. Hey, I'm Rob, subscribe here or whatever. And then now we're gonna add our pop-up. So now we go back to this menu at the right. We go back to add and go elements. I'm gonna add an element. Element is just like a little feature of 
like a, the elements are features. Panels are like kind of like the building blocks and then the elements are like little features. So we want to find an element now called, uh, where are you? Contact form. Okay. Um, maybe I don't want that one. That one's too, too much. I want email marketing form. I want that one. Boom. Click that. And there's different ones to choose from different colors, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So I'll just click this one for now. And I think you can edit it. And now the, I selected it and the first thing it, it asked me to do was select a list. Okay. So you're going to select your email list from mailing boss. So if you haven't created a, a, a list, you're going to have to go down and create a new list. Okay. Maybe I should just do that just so you know how to do it. So if you already created a list, just select it. I actually, I'll show you how to create one. I'll create a new list. We're going to just choose M point 4.0 for now. Okay. We're just going to name the list as pop number two. Description test pop. Here you're actually going to have to put in your from email. So where do you want people to email you? This is the email I set up to have all my stuff go to with builder all. Okay, so make sure you put email, email, and the rest can just be the description. Save it, green button. A lot of steps, a lot of steps. But once you get set up, then you don't have to worry about it and you can start making the money. Okay, so then there's my test to pop up there now. I'm going to select that. Okay, it's highlighted in blue. Hit save. Okay, there's my button. Now we're going to set it up. Um, so you can edit these to say whatever you want. If you want to edit the button, so like I've got it highlighted. And if I want to edit the button to change it, hit the pencil. Ah, okay. So the settings are over here. So I've got my email button selected over here and all the settings are over here. So let's say I want to change the text. I'll just quickly show you how to change the headline. Okay. So click here or yeah, click here. Okay. That changes the button name. If I want to change maybe the color, you can just go here. Boom. By the way, blue is not a great color to have. Any other color is fine. Whatever. So that's that's all your settings in there. You can play with that. Okay. But let's actually get to the, the chain link now. Okay. So let's do the pop-up. We're going to set the link right here. There's that little chain link. We're going to set the link. Boom. Okay. Now this, this is a one page this is a one land page landing page. I don't have a bridge page. So what I'm going to do is step one, I had them hit my landing page. Step two, they hit that call to action button. Step three, they were taken to this pop-up. Step four, they enter their email. Okay. We've grabbed their email. Step five, now we're going to send them to whatever product you're selling. So if it's for, in this example, I'm using a Java burn product. I'm selling Java burn. So I'm going to put in my affiliate link. This is where I put my affiliate link and I created an affiliate, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> I took an affiliate link that I got from my product and I shortened it. I went to my URL shortener in builder all there's a short, a link shortener. I shortened the link. Okay. Just because it's cleaner. And I think, <clears throat> um, it just works better. Okay. And then I'm going to put that in here now. So there's these three buttons. I'm going to click here. So I'm going to put in my affiliate link here. There it is. And we're going to select. Okay. That one's done. You do all three, same thing. Click that. Put your URL in there. This is my affiliate link. Boom. Go here. Same thing. URL, my affiliate link. Okay, we're gonna save all three. Okay, that's saved. Okay, next, we're going to set the list. So we go to the chain link, oh, we did that. Okay, so if you haven't done that, I already selected that, I don't have to do that. So everything's done. Now there is one other thing you should know about. There's the set, the reCAPTCHA. 
but I'm going to leave the recapture for now. I'm going to do recapture in part three. Okay. So let's just focus on the getting your site active. So then everything's done. Okay. Everything's done for now. We're going to hit save the top, right? That's fine. Click green. And then we're going to, this is very important. Now we're going to close the window. Leave. Yes, that's fine. I already saved it. Now this is where people get hung up is they forget to do this. You're going to go up to the top, right? Republish. Okay. So now it's active and ready to go. Let's test it. Okay. We'll go to my site, click on those three little dots. I'm going to go to go to website. Hopefully it works. <sighs> And then we'll click call to action, right? Yeah, I want to sign up. Boom. There's my whatever. Let's just test it. There's my pop-up. Okay, I want to sign up. Yes. My free whatever. Click here. Ah, it's because I, it's doing that because the email's uh, fake. Uh, let me just go back one more time. It's because I entered the same email a second ago. Let's try that again. Let's try a real email or a new email, Jimmy Jenga. Uh, Gmail.com. Okay, it already knows that email doesn't go anywhere. Okay. Boom. Ah, there it goes. Okay. So there's my affiliate product. You can see. Okay. So if they go and buy this, Affiliate product, I'll get the commission because they, they're they on my affiliate page. They hit my affiliate link. And that's how you do it, okay? I'm going to show you the recaptcha in part three.